Hello guys, welcome along to an Xbox 360 pickup. It's been a while since I've sh shown you any games and I've got a huge pile here. The games that I picked up kind of weeks and weeks ago and I meant to do a video and then never and I've got new games. I'm just going to show you them all at once here. I don't even know how many I've got. I'll quickly show you a pile of games though. Some really, really nice ones though. Some brand new games, which is no like me. So the first two here, I'd, um, I traded with Shox 16. 6, 16. And um, anyway, so fear. Um, and these are both of them in great condition. Both complete. I remember playing the demo of this, and I really, really liked it. And um, never ever got into buying it. And I've got fear too, and I've never played it on my first album. I wouldn't play a game until I played the first one. I'm kind of like that, eh? Um, so fear, and I've got Unreal Tournament. Um, Again, complete. So I got a really good deal with him and I thanked him already but I'm obviously going to show you when I'm picking him up. A game I got for free, got it from my brother. He had, um, he's a huge massive um, Mass Effect fan. And um, so he had bought the oh, two day pass. He had bought the third one eh? and um, completed it, finished it. A whole lot, and obviously these you can pick this up really cheap now, so you knew you wouldn't get much for it if you traded it in. So I needed it for my collection. I mean, I've not finished. I've got near to the near the end of one. I think I've got a, maybe two chapters to do for the main story. Obviously, there's loads of other stuff, eh? and I keep meaning to finish it so I can get into level number two because number two might be the better game. It's more streamlined. It's easier because obviously I'm not a role playing. A role play, a role playing fan, and I get kind of mixed up. But I was coping with it fine. Eh? I was letting the computer do it automatic for all the attributes and that. Um, and I know there was maybe a few things about the ending of this and that kind of stuff. But I mean, I stayed away from all that, so I don't know what happened. But um, works with Connect as well. I don't know how. But um, it comes with two discs. All complete. So that was three. So thank you to my brother for giving me this. Supreme Commander, picked this up from Asda's, it's not a game I've ever seen, I don't think I've seen it, ever, in any of the shops I've been to. Um, Supreme Commander, complete, I got it for five if it has this. it was pre-owned, um, and I thought, oh I love this game, because it's a, it's a um, RTS, couldn't think of the word here, RTS, and I've got it for a PC, but when I went looking for it, the, the, when the, the game's kind of broken. On the 360, slow downs. As soon as there's, you know, a, a lot of um, characters on screen, it's got a lot of slow down with it, and all that kind of stuff. And the frame rate just drops. Um, so it says obviously a better PC version, but um, but I needed it for the Xbox. I got it cheap. There we go. NBA 2K12. Oh, an absolutely outstanding game. Now I knew somebody had told me ages ago, somebody had came and bought stuff off me and said about the NBA games, that, but the 2K games, said they're absolutely brilliant. And I've not played a basketball game for for a long, long time. And there's not really been any decent ones out, eh? Really, can the EA ones, the, the NBA Live, are not that great. And um, he had told me about this, eh? He um, said it's outstanding, and it is. Now, I've been wanting to pick them up for a wee while, but even the number 12 is still quite expensive. When you go into game and that, and I never see it's cheap. I don't think I've ever seen it under a tenner, maybe. And it, you know, two K thirteens out, and forty to be out after the summer as well. So, um, in a charity shop, and they had four Xbox three sixty games. Couldn't believe it. And um, but none of them had manuals. And you'll see there's a manual in here, but that was me. I printed it off just so to get the um, controls in it. So I didn't mind. It was three pound. I thought, no, I'm paying three pound. And thank goodness I did pay £3 for it because, um, oh, what a game! The graphics are outstanding, the commentary is outstanding, the, the build up to the games, I mean, it's, it really is like watching it on TV. And um, once you get to grips with the, the controls, it's really good. The only bad thing is, it's the online servers are done already. As soon as 13 came out, they, they shut down the servers for number 12, which is kind of weird. Because I mean, I was you go have you have FIFA twelve. I know it's the two K sports. 
FIFA's um, EA, but you go into FIFA 12, it's, it's still open. Um, no, that I would want, but I would, I would have liked to experience it. Um, but oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. Uh, another game I picked up for as does WSC Rio 11, which is World Championship Snooker. Now the snooker games, I mean I've played the snooker games for the PlayStation 1 and I thought the first one was outstanding, me and brothers used to play it for hours, you know, and it's, and it, you've got your kind of markers telling you where the, the ball's going to go, where the colour ball's going to go, blah blah blah, which you need because, you know, you don't want to train for years and years and years just to be good at snooker, you know what I mean, you want to get right in there right away and try and get breaks of 40, 50, 60, type A, um, and I've played these over the years, Looks brilliant, looks outstanding, got the the pool in that and it, you know, eight ball pool and that and stuff. But again this game's broken. It's just this it slows down, you've got I mean it's snooker, right? But I was playing pool or a snooker, right? And you get a you get an achievement I think if you get a break of ten. Right? So I think I'd I'd done the red ball, black ball, red ball and this, but on a colour again, right? So I'd, I'd lined it up perfect, potted it, but before the ball started moving it slowed down, up pops the achievement, and then the, the colour ball went in. And I'm thinking, well, oh, come on. Done it again because you get an achievement for a 50 break. Is it a 50 break? I think it was. So anyway, I'd got up to that. Eh? Again, whatever, I was on the black ball, lined it up, took the shot, the game froze, up popped the achievement, you know, for your 50 break, and then it started again. So, and that happened a lot, a lot of times, eh? It slowed down like that, and I'm thinking, oh, it's a shame because it was a really, really good game. I was, and I played the pool as well, and it actually, it will actually show you where the white ball is going to go, and the coloured ball, but it actually shows you where the white ball is going to end up. So it'll be a dark, kind of shaded area where the ball is going to end up, so you can have it. So you can go into a game of pool and have it, and be like you've been playing for years, so you're, so really all you've got to do is work out what way is best to go where to try and get all the balls. But with it being slowed down and that, it's you know, in this dark energy. It used to be Codemasters, if I believe. Um, so they've you not know, that great. Guitar Hero 5. This is the only game I need to complete the Guitar Hero set. My father in law got this for me because he knew I needed number 5. I was at a charity, no, charity shop, I was at the game. Two for a tenner. And I saw two games I needed, and I don't know why I never picked them up. But I didn't, I always took myself out of getting stuff right away. I'm just one of these guys that I see something, oh, really like, but do I really need it? Do I really need to spend a tenner? I've got hundreds of games, and I talk myself out of everything, eh? And it's not till I go here and I go, oh, I should have got that. Went back the next day, next day, got one of the games, which I'm going to show you next. But this one was not there. But anyway, my father now got it for me at a another cash generator or something somewhere else and I've got them all, I've got every single Guitar Hero game I've even got the couple on the Playstation 2 but um, unless there's any more I've got Guitar Hero 1 and Rock the 80s there might be another one for there but I've got them all for the Xbox um, and it's got some decent songs on it, I mean I know these have kind of when they first came out they were tremendous, they were fantastic, everybody was playing them and they kind of thing it away, but I still like them playing them, eh? But I mean, you've got Bon Jovi, you've got Love a Bad Name, you've got uh, Megadeth in here, you've got Muse, plug it in, baby, absolutely brilliant song. Um, who else you got in here that you might ken? Kings of Leon, Iron Maiden, Two Minutes to Midnight, brilliant. Dire Straits. So there's a few alright songs in here. Um, but. Like I said, I need it for the collection. I've got four or five guitars, two drum sets, I've got a whole lot. The only thing I've not got is the, the new instruments, because I believe you've got a wee mini keyboard. So I've not got any of that, but... Anyway, this is one of the games I picked up the day before, or that I went back the next day. Rock Band 2. I've got Rock Band 1. Been meaning to get two for such a long time. You never seem to find it cheap though, but it was only two for tenner. So this has got really good songs in it, so I mean, because obviously a rock band's different for your Guitar Hero. Cause your guitar Hero would just be Activision, still is Activision, aye. And your rock band's harmonics. Um, 
So rock band, I mean ACDC, although I've got ACDC rock band version, but you've got ACDC on here. You've got Metallica, again I've got Guitar Hero ba uh, Metallica, but it's got Metallica battery. Um, who else is in here? I mean there's Megadeth Peace Cells, oh, that's a classic song when I was at school. Um, Fleetwood Mac, it's got Bon Jovi living in a prayer. Um, and a few other ones that I've not even heard. Linkin Park, they're alright. Yeah, some of their songs are alright. Pearl Jam, that was a band that went phew, in my head. Pearl Jam, when that grunge came out, oh, was, um, I was still hanging on to the kind of heavy metal days. Um, so I missed the kind of grunge, but rock band too. Go. We've got a Need for Speed game, it's Need for Speed Shift. And it was £2 or £3 a game, it was. Really, really cheap. Um, complete. Now, I've not played this because I bought uh, Shift to Unleashed. And I bought these from Blockbusters, two for a tenner. I was online. I can't remember what other game I I'll show you now. So I've been playing this, and this is a really, really good game. Really hard when you first put it on, though. Um, but when you get to grips with the way they're driving, it's really, really good day. Eh? Because there's races I was coming last, and I couldn't get to grips at all yet. And then I was finally sussing it out, and, you know, um, really, really nice game. Complete, obviously. No like a normal kind of need for speeds, this game, I thought. It was a kind of mixture between um, simulation and arcade. It was that nice kind of in the middle ground there. Eh? Another game I got for the 2 for 10 for Blockbusters Online was the... Left for Dead. I thought that was a really good price because um, again, that's a game I've not seen under that. Um, and I've got Left for Dead 2, so that's me got the both of them. Zombie game, obviously. Survival, you can hook up and play co op with it. Done by Valve, classic. Um, we've got Dead Rising. I picked up picked this from Game 2 for 10. Dead Rising, um, the first one. New. I had this game before when it first came out. Eh? And I couldn't get to grips with this the save. Because I'd done a lot of stuff, killed a lot of zombies, and then I thought I'd saved it, and when I put it back on it started from the beginning again. I couldn't understand it, oh I'm not doing that again. Put off by it. But I never had the map with it. I didn't know it was a map coming because this was inside it. And it looks like a kind of advertising thing for a holiday or something, but it's a part of you mall, store guide, and you open it up. And it's, you know, it gives you the map and it shows you where everything is. You know, I never had this the last time. It wasn't even my copy of it. So I'm really, really happy to get this in here, eh? Um, well chuffed. And the, the manual looks like it's um, never been opened or, or used or anything. So I was really chuffed to get that because that was um, in really good condition. I've got Split Second Velocity. That was another game I got for 2 for tenner. That and Dead Rising. Um, and I've heard this is maybe a really good game. I'm sure Marcus X-File had put a comment up about this game in Facebook and he said it was one of his favourite games. Um, I've not tried it yet. I've been, they've been sitting and I've been, oh, I've just not put it on yet. Oh, we've got Dragon Age 2. I've got Dragon Age, the first game, and this is done by obviously the same guys that done Mass Effect. And I've been wanting to get these games for a while. Because I found Mass Effect really, really good. And also this is like a dragon and the spells and that I believe and all that kind of stuff so but I thought if it's done by the same guys I might be able to get into it easier. Um I, I was in the two for ten range and all. Three brand new games from the you can me, I didn't really, I didn't buy brand new games. I don't buy full price brand new games. For the third. 995 Can't mind where it was. It wasn't the Amazon, maybe it was Amazon or Play.com, it was one of them. But I thought that's a great price and it's brand new for a game. And again, it's a series of games I've not played yet. So I'm not be putting this on. Because I feel like I have to have a wee shot of the ones before. But um so I know this might be really good. A lot of humour in it. Um you know, compared to your GTA games, eh? Um over the top kind of stuff in it so I've got Hitman Absolution Tailored Edition um, brand new complete and obviously you get um, extra stuff with it you get um, 
That's sleeping dogs. That's for the sign on. You get a high tech suit and um, Bartoli custom pistol. And then you get the contracts password. Is that for online for doing your online stuff? Um, I, I had a, I had a four or five PlayStation Three games that I was um, needing to trade in because I, I've either got the games on Xbox or I've been needing to get them. So I'd scanned them on game or I'd done the barcode thing. Uh, I was expecting to get about thirty quid for them, and took them down, and she actually gave me thirty seven pound for them plus five pound to put towards like a new game but then she said you can put it on any new game but it's five pound credit you're getting five pound credit for you i went mean, that's great so i put it on like a gt5 I end up spending spending on something else um but 37 so then i went out and i got hit my absolution that was 15 pound brand new 13 pound pre-owned 15 brand new so i bought the brand new edition um i think i've just put the start of it in but i might have i've Borrowed the um, my father in law's got it and he had the, he's got the strategy guide, so I borrowed the strategy guide because it's a type of game you know if I get stuck, I just go right to that. And I also got Doom 3 uh, BFG edition, big friend of the giant edition. <laughs> uh, Doom 3 Tenor, brand new. It was weird because they've got it in for the 2 for 20 range pre owned obviously, or £10 brand new. So obviously I bought the brand new version, eh? Um, aye, so I think you get to play Doom 2 and Doom 1 and aye. Because the classic Doom and Doom 2 games. So it's Doom 3, so it features Doom 3 and the Resurrection of Evil add-on pack. I mean I've got Doom for up there somewhere for, I mean, for the Xbox, but, and I've got it on PC, but I've got it for Xbox 360 now. Alright, so there we go. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 games, Xbox 360 games I've showed you. And that pits me on 319 or something, or it could be even more than that, but obviously, you know, I'll put the, the proper total down the bottom in the comments there. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and um, till next time, cheers.